Today, ABC's Wide World of Sports moves live to the Space Age Houston Astrodome for a special two-hour program which begins the elimination tournament to determine a new heavyweight champion. You'll be seeing two 12-round quarterfinal bouts in this ring. In the first, Jimmy Ellis against Leotis Martin. In the second, Ernie Terrell versus Thad Spencer. Today, the story begins. It will end with a new heavyweight champion of the world. Spanning the globe to bring you the constant variety of sport, the thrill of victory, and the agony of defeat. The human drama of athletic competition. This is ABC's Wide World of Sports. Brought to you by Tiger Paws. Made only by Uniroyal. If you want the high-performance tire with the wild red stripe, ask for Tiger Paws. By Vitalis. Vitalis with V7. Vitalis keeps your hair neat all day without grease. Prevents dryness, too. And by Ice Blue Aqua Velva, the aftershave lotion that's better for your skin. For a wonderful feeling of fitness and a clean, crisp, manly scent. Good afternoon. I'm Jim McKay in New York, welcoming you to a special two-hour edition of ABC's Wide World of Sports. Our program expanded today so that we can bring you the beginning of an event that is actually unique in the annals of sport. An eight-man elimination tournament leading to a new heavyweight champion of the world. Now, as you must know, quite recently, the World Boxing Association stripped Cassius Clay, or Muhammad Ali, of his title uh, following his refusal to be inducted into the armed forces of the United States. And now that same WBA has gathered together eight of the nine listed challengers, or top listed challengers, for the vacant title. The other man, Joe Frazier, was invited but declined to participate in the tournament. Now today, live from the Houston Astrodome, you're going to see not one but two first round matches in this tournament, each of 12 rounds or less duration. Now in the first match, it's going to be Leotis Martin of Philadelphia on the left there, going against Jimmy Ellis, the former sparring partner of Clay, also from Louisville, Kentucky. That will be the first of the two scheduled matches on today's ABC Wide World of Sports. In the second one, it will be big Ernie Terrell on the left there of Atlantic City in Chicago, going against Thad Spencer of Portland, Oregon. Those are the fights you'll be seeing today. There are two other quarterfinal matches on September 16th, live by the satellite from Frankfurt, Germany, Oscar Bonavena against Carl Mildenberger, the European champion, and on October 28th from Los Angeles, former champion Floyd Patterson against young Jerry Quarry. Now, the semifinals will be held on November 11th and December 2nd, uh, with the two survivors to meet for the heavyweight championship of the world sometime early in 1968. Now, all of these fights will be coming to you exclusively on ABC television. Also on today's program, if we have time, and of course that would require the shortening of one of the two bouts by a knockout or a stoppage of some sort, we'll also be bringing you some highlights of the Pan American Games from Winnipeg, Canada. However, in one minute, on to the Astrodome. There's Our romance began because there's something about an Aqua Velva man. Get Aqua Velva aftershave lotion. Regular, menthol, and now luxurious frost lime. Is it a super jet? Is it a rocket? It's so fast, so smooth. What is it? It's Williams Electric Shave in action. The pre-shave lotion that puts wings on your electric razor. It sets up your beard for a closer shave. Lubricate your skin for a Jet Smooth Shave. You'll skim off the toughest beard with Jet Speed. Put wings on your electric razor with Williams Electric Shave. Look for the big L. First letter in... Electric Shave! Okay, and now, now we're just about set to go. Remember, no politics this time. Eight men starting to battle it out for the heavyweight championship of the world. The one who wins all his fights and survives will be the new champion. It's just that simple. And now, live to the Astrodome in Houston, and our commentators, Chris Schenkel and Howard Cosell. Thank you very much, Jim McKay. And in the most exciting of all boxing divisions, the heavyweight division, 
We are about to see the beginning uh, in the determination of a new heavyweight champion. And the man that has been on the scene, Howard Cosell, can tell us all about the four men who are going to go 12 rounds or less in two bouts. Thank you very much, Chris. I think we've got two excellent matchups today. Ernie Terrell is known to you all. A lanky, dedicated fighter, very difficult to fight against, perhaps the best left jab in boxing. A seasoned competitor, it remains to be seen if he left his fighting with Muhammad Ali here in the Astrodome last February. His opponent, Thad Spencer, has become a confident, almost cocky fighter. With exceptionally quick hands, Angelo Dundee, who, as you know, trained Muhammad Ali, picked Spencer to upset Terrell. But I'm excited, Chris, about the immediate fight, Jimmy Ellis against Leotis Martin. I'm excited about two hungry fighters, each young enough, each of whom has languished in the shadows of another fighter, each of whom is what we call an attack fighter, men who don't move backwards, each of whom has the knockout punch, at least one of whom, Leotis Martin, who may be too eager for the knockout and may leave himself open too often. But these men want to prove that they are entitled to a crown that they have hungered for. I look for good matchups. Howard, in the first fight that you were talking about, Martin and Ellis, I don't think I've seen two uh, heavyweights of championship caliber so evenly matched in the, in the uh, tail of the tape, in height, in weight, in experience, both 27 years old. And as you say, uh, from the standpoint of being hungry, these are two boys that are going to get people out of their seats here at the Astrodome, where there are some 15,000 awaiting the start of this bout. Now, we'd like for uh, all of our viewers to get a better idea of just what these fighters are like. So, Howard, uh, earlier this week, you spoke uh, to Mr. Jimmy Ellis, and uh, so you have an opportunity to meet him. Jimmy, you've been waiting a long, long time. What must have seemed to you to be a lifetime for your shot. You've got it with this tournament. What does the tournament, in terms of your words, your thinking, mean to you? Well, I would, uh, this is one big chance for me. It gives me a chance to come out of the shadow of Muhammad Ali and to prove how good a fight I really am. Um, I'm going to this fight, sir. I, I don't mean to let nothing stop me. I've been, been working hard all my life. Not only in boxing, I've been on jobs working, and I'm tired of that. I'm tired of, of working real hard, and I'm going out Saturday to do the job that I really got to do. Brick laying is no longer for you. No, I don't want to be no, uh, I don't want to go back to that no more. All right, Jimmy, you're facing Leotis Martin, an unheralded fighter, but one who appears to be physically stronger than you in terms of size. Does this trouble you at all? No, it don't bother me not one bit. Uh, uh, big, bigness don't mean nothing to me. Uh, bigger they come, the bigger they, harder they fall. So uh, far, as far as them being too much bigger, he's not that much bigger than me. I don't look at it in size. I just look at it uh, as width. We're going to have width out some of the boxing wise guys have accused you of being just a three-round fighter. After three rounds, they say Ellis loses his steam. Well, they they was talking that in New York the last time I was there, they, and when I win the title, they still be talking. They don't know what they don't know what I can do. If I can stop a guy early, I stop him early. Uh, I don't be playing around too much. You've won your last three fights with first-round knockouts. Will you knock out Leotis Martin? Well, uh, if I was two percent to step, he'll go in one too. So. Uh, Whatever comes, that, 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 that's the way to go. In height, you are both reasonably the same stature. Will you carry the fight to him? Well, I'm not. I'm not a kind of a guy that want to back up too much. I know he comes, and he's picking on me backing up. But when, when the bell sounds, we'll be out there in the middle of the ring doing what we got to do. Both standing toe to toe, we have to. Final question, Jimmy. Some people say you were a sparring partner for the dethroned champion too long. And sparring partners, they say, leave their fights in the gymnasium. Your comment? Well, they said, uh, they said, barn fighting take a beating, but I haven't took no beating. You can look and see for yourself if I took any beating. I don't worry about what the people say. As I said once before, watch me Saturday, and you'll see what I got and what I can do. Will you win this tournament? I will win the whole thing. Good. Uh, Good luck uh, to you, Jimmy. Okay. And in the very center of the unique Astrodome, you see the ring in which Jimmy Ellis will face the challenge of Leotis Martin. We'll be back with more from Houston after this message. This is a torture chamber. It can get hotter than 100 degrees, damp as a steaming jungle. Your feet are trapped here 14 hours a day. No wonder you have hot, itchy feet. These conditions can often lead to the painful itching, cracking, and blisters of athlete's foot. That's why you need soothing Desinex, recommended and prescribed by doctors. Use Desinex daily. 
and you may never suffer from itchy burning feet again. This is the way hay fever pollen travels. If you have hay fever, it'll give you a runny nose, fits of sneezing, hard breathing, itchy eyes, and a rotten disposition. But you can enjoy life if you take Alarest. It was developed to relieve the symptoms of hay fever and other upper respiratory allergies. As long as the pollen is flying, you'll still have hay fever. But if you take Alarest, you'll hardly know it. Two 12-round heavyweight championship bouts to determine a heavyweight champion of the world about to begin here live from Houston, Texas. And now that all of you viewers have met Jimmy Ellis, let's join Howard Cursell as he talks to Jimmy's opponent, Leotis Martin, 